my umbrella so it's not going to rain. If I hadn't dark. brought my umbrella in, it'd be pouring when we left. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we'll call a meeting together at 7.04 p.m. Um, we'll sit Mary Jane for Roy. Any, um, so we have minutes to approve from August 25th. 2022. Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Second. Ed, Al, any discussion on those minutes? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Abstain. One. So moved. Okay. Um, nothing with Silver Petroselli. Um, Downs, USDA, bills and invoices. So, we, if you guys remember back in April of, it was actually April 8th of 21, we approved a bunch of money for things to be done from the gutters to driveway, generator wiring locks, all of this stuff. Um, so there are some bills that as a committee we have yet to approve related to some of that work. Um, so there was a, um, $8,585, we approved the work, but we just haven't approved the bill, uh, invoice for aqua pump. So this was for the broken meters and um, you had to change out some pressure valves, right, on the system. So it's invoice number 010387, uh, dated 623.22. It's been paid, but uh, motion to approve that. Second. Second. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, the next bill is there are um, a bill for parity roofing. There's actually two of them. Um, the first one was for the work on the gutters, so custom materials. And the second one was to replace and repair the work up around the um, Front right, the cupola. Oh, that was lightning. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, it's the dormers. The dormers. That's what it was. All right. So the the bill for the dormers was um, eight hundred and eighty dollars for parity. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. So moved. The second bill was for the gutter re replacement repair work. Uh, that bill was for four thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars, dated November twenty second. Motion to approve. What, what was, that's a lot of gutter. What? This was, all the, they replaced all the flashing, the white aluminum trim, all of that around the front. That so, was, no, that was the dormers. Yeah. Oh, this was the dormers, the 800 was the gutters? Yeah. I was going to say, they seem a little bit different. Oh, you're right, you're right, I read them backwards. Yep, wood dormers located on the front facing. So, um, so the 880 we approved was for the gutters. This 4485 is for the dormers, sorry. Thank you, Ed. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. Mm -hmm. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay. Um, there are two bills for um, Dutch. So one was for the replacement of, and you got to help me, Don, because these are not labeled well. One was install ductless splits it's labeled and the other is install a 36,000 BTU AC. So that was for the IT room with all the servers and everything. But the one above it kept losing charge because it was it was above the units. Okay. So we couldn't technically fix what was there. But it kept leaking and it was concerned that the build up all the water was just going to come out and fill up the servers. So they put it directly above it. Probably shouldn't have been on the wall. So we just continued to disconnect it now and then put the mini split in for So what's the the 36,000? So you gave the split to two bills for some reason. It's the same thing. Okay. It's for the unit outside and the head inside. Okay. It's the same thing. So I think we had originally approved like 15,000 for this work. It comes out to be a little bit more. It comes out to be about 17 in total. So, um, so is it two mini splits or one mini split? That was one, I don't know why he sent two bills with one the compressor outside, the head inside. There's only one, 
Yeah, because this, this, oh, but, one is for the unit. There we go. This is actually the unit price is 11898 This was the installation cost is how we split them out. <coughs> 11000 Is that a normal price? Seems high. It's a big unit. It's 36,000 BTUs. Okay. So yeah, you could do a 12 or an 18 on your house for a Mitsubishi for 4,000 probably, but. Yeah. So you have more price for school for a small one like that. Was yeah. Mm. So, but that's, this is a monster. Yeah. I didn't even know they made them that big, honestly. I knew. Is <laughs> <laughs> just for the IT room? Yeah. So. The heat load in there is crazy. So it's just a little back on there too. Is there's no thermostat. So whatever he got for heated air conditioning came from the hall or whatever came over the, through the doors and everything. So he had the office area where he sits that has an oven. It, right. I seem to recall talking mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, we did. So there was, yeah, he has no, in the thermostat, he had nothing. So he got whatever he left the door open <laughs> what he got from the hall. Actually, I'm putting a split system into, I think, installed is 11,000. So do we solve the outer office we problem? Did. Yeah, with this. Yeah, so so it's got, got two heads? heads. Yeah. yeah, you got two heads with one compressor. So that's why it's 36,000 BTUs. So he has his yeah, he has it's two rooms, there. 18 and 8. And, cause, and the heat load in that IT closet is high. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Um, Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? So in total, it's uh, 11, 8, 9, 8 plus 6, 5, 4, 5. 17. 18, 17, a little under 18. Yeah. Spent, a little over so. 18. Yep. Sorry, Spence. Exactly. Uh, any discussion? Uh, Edward was a motion. Do we have a second, Mary Jane? Um, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Um, the last one was, well, there's two. Um, so the scoreboards, which we had approved $20,000 for, uh, up to $20,000. Um, the bill is. Um, Invoice number 316, dated 7123. The total was $16,642 for the scoreboards and the clocks. Motion to approve. So moved. Ed, second. Second. Al, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So we'll move. Um, so the last one to go along with the scoreboards is because they put the shot clocks in, they also needed additional power installed to power the shot clocks versus just the time clocks. So um, there's a bill for $2,500 for installing and putting power into the shot clocks. Um, dated 724-23. They just finished it. Uh, any discussion? Or second? Second. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So those are the bills. These are all accounted for within what Dawn gave me um, and have been paid based on this. Minus the only one that is not included in this is the $2,500 for the electrical. So based on that, if you take where we stand today, um, to date, we have spent fourteen million eight thirty eight eight thirty eight one ninety eight point three nine plus the twenty five hundred. Wait, fourteen million eight thirty eight eight thirty eight one ninety eight thirty nine. Um. It's on the project, on top of that, there's been seven thousand nine sixty six twenty seven in clerical fees and forty three thousand nine uh, four twenty two fifty in legal fees. So the total spent to date on the project or paid out to date on the project is fourteen million eight eight nine five eight seven point one six. Um. Plus the twenty five hundred, which we just approved tonight. So that's a total of fourteen million eight ninety two zero eight seven sixteen. Yeah, I don't. My phone doesn't carry all the digits. <laughs> 
Um, so 15 million. So that leaves us minus one, four, eight, nine, two, zero, eight, seven, point one, six. Uh, one hundred and seven thousand nine twelve eighty four. If I did my mouth correct, carrying the difference. So enough to do the building management system. Potentially, if we need it. Um, and then the, the other thing we have to talk about is the fire tank. I don't think there's an if we need it. I think we need to do a management system. Well, we don't know if we need it based on, and you can explain. And so the school that partner is JC Project Iron is there from Millhouse, and he's been working with us on the other school. In the most recent discussion with him, he's asked for a couple of weeks because he, he said there's a possibility that we need to get the entire system downloaded and you know, up and working with the government. There may be components that are actually missing that could be reprogrammed, downloaded, whatever it is, not over, they put it into the building. It still may be. And he thinks that if it's available, it could technically be part of the program that they <laughs> want to be downloaded. Some of the issues, so uh, you don't have to call somebody else to put the heat on. So I told him everything. <laughs> yeah. I, so I told him everything that I have to do, and his first thing that came out. First thing he said is, "He goes, something's missing. Something wasn't installed. Something is wrong. They don't know anything about the KMC system. They're, they're a pretty big company, and that I've never heard of." And so we did a, a search. And and come to find out that they're pretty small, and there's one company connected to serve them, and he happens to be in town here, but he still believes he doesn't know anything about it. He wanted to research it. He thinks that there may be stuff that we just want to get that may be available. So he asked for a couple weeks on that. So I'm not prepared to entertain any other projects other than fixing the building management I'm system in first. Me too. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's our first mm -hmm. responsibility. I understand there are other things and with the water, but... Fixing the building management system is a gift that's going to keep on giving because yep. it will lower our utility bills. It will lower operation costs. This heating, air conditioning, heating, air conditioning at the same time is crazy. Yeah, totally agree. I mean, well, I think we're all aligned in that. Um, I think we just wanted to bring to the table that there is an issue now with fire protection, right, for a building that we built and water supply for it now. Um, that if there is money left, that would be something that I would recommend we entertain based on what we find with the, the building management. Um, and then after that, I think we're truly, as a committee, done. So. Yeah, I'm willing to wait a month to get a, mm -hmm. you know, a report from whoever it, it, this is. To, no, and I, he kind of threw a monkey wrench into it. I didn't expect that. Yeah. You know, I assume that once you got something, you got it. But apparently, there's things that could be missing. Because he's given you a, a rough yeah, estimate, a rough estimate of around 100k, right, to switch out the controls and the the devices in the field. To, okay. I think that would be a good use of our money if we mm -hmm. had to do that. Agreed. Is, is he from CES Engineers? Uh, HLS yeah. in Milltown. Oh. He lives in town, so he wants to get it right. So. Good. Do you wear a baseball cap? All the more reason. <laughs> What's the name of the company? HL Lens? Okay. Um, I don't, I mean, I think probably most of you guys have been in the gym. The scoreboards look great mm -hmm. um, to vote and stuff, so it's good. 
tennis courts. It is sub zero in there. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> I wasn't working. I'm just saying. <laughs> How do the scoreboards work? Are they? I only get the complaints. Bluetooth. Oh, <laughs> uh, wireless. Yeah. <laughs> The best is when we play pickleball, and this one helps just raise it like one degree. Really? <laughs> we can tell one degree. I'm sure you could feel it by now. <laughs> Give it an hour, you'll feel it. <laughs> During the referendum, we had toyed with getting a bag full of ice and putting it on the thermostat to see if it would make any difference. <laughs> it, at one point, it got really cold, especially if you were sitting where the ducks blew right down on you. Mm -hmm. Definitely, the process when it's all enough in here, it's never. Yeah. You know, I mean, we, no, it's not you, so don't think <laughs> we're. <laughs> yeah. So we want, so like. We went through and had a set for 70 all the way through. Come in the morning, my office was 62. Before bed was 58. Whoa. And it was all set the same. Everything was the same. Yeah, and, and look, I am a firm believer in giving business local, right? But this was a case where I think we all knew it was, Yeah. you know, and nothing of the people, right? It was just a system that they used that was proprietary, which we didn't like in the beginning. And it's coming back to bite us, ultimately. So, Which is why I believe it. It's our responsibility mm -hmm. to make it I agree. right. Absolutely. I agree. So. But didn't, didn't Silver Petroselli uh, spec it? So they spec it, really? but because we... This system was not in the original specs. If you remember, David Carpenter came back and said, oh. I'm a local business. I can't bid on this unless you add this system in. Remember? Exactly. Hence the dominoes Hence right the there domino, started. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's what why we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So I think provide doing local business, but you know, we're in the middle of a firehouse renovation and other things. I think as those projects move along, you stick to your guns on the systems that you know. And if you're a local business who can support it, then great. Okay. But you don't go into these small, in most cases, right? If it's something small and it'll yeah, work. Yeah. I totally agree with local business, but it, it doesn't fit every Correct. single situation. Correct. And this was one that yeah. it just shit goes to show. I agree. I agree. So you were asking, somebody was asking about the scoreboards. They're all wireless. Can we talk a little bit about the fire tank and why it's needed? And, uh, so there's really no water supply close to here, to the center of town. Okay, yep. So. so it's only for that? Yeah. We were going to make Wind Wall Pond out. We got a price of 20 grand. Yeah. Out. yeah. And we were going to do it until DOT came back. Yeah. All the soil for the contamination goes on. So, in order to do that, we'd be looking at the 20 gram plus 200 and 10 gram just to haul it away. Right. So, we decided to not work it. Or if we sell the tank in here. So, when there's talk about putting the tank down there or putting the tank up here. Do we have, are there any tank constraints? Do we have to have a good water supply for that? Um, I, it's just, it's a known risk, right, today. Yeah. We know it's a risk. We know there's not a a good water supply locally here. I think Oak Grove, right, is the or not Oak Gro uh, Grove, Grove, Grove Street, Grove Street, yeah. So that's the closest one. What's down at the bottom of the hill by EV exterminating, where that washed out when we had the floods? What's by Brunel's? Yeah. What's down there? River? Yeah, is there no water down there? No, we got the, the hydrant at Brown Ellis and the damp pipe, which I broke Is there water at the bottom of the hill? Can't, can't get to can't it, get yeah. Okay. Even Grove Street, the town is looking at putting money into changing that now because you can't get to where it's it been put in. So it's 
this area is tough, right? I mean, it's just a tough. Um, so the, can you explain what it would be? So we were going to, the plan was to put a 10,000 gallon tank in the lawn over by the propane tanks. And it would be there for uh, it's a, use. No, it's back here. Uh, use for his building or whatever buildings are around him. And it was going to be you know, one 10,000 plastic tank, which was 38 grand to buy in and install. 10,000. Well, maybe we'll be able to do both. Maybe we can fix mm -hmm. the building management system for yeah. sixty thousand dollars, and got forty left over to. Is that it's something new that came up? It wasn't discussed during budget, or could we just get it into the budget? We didn't think we had to. Over two hundred some thousand dollars. All right, so the, it was timing that didn't. Yeah, we didn't. You know, we didn't. I didn't know about the soil. We went to get the permit to do it, and Jimmy's like, "Hey, time out." And we got the whole, the whole report back from DOT. That's why DOT was going to do more work there. But as soon as they got the report back, they stopped. <laughs> they didn't want that work. So that kind of stopped the best on track. No, that's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Open discussion? Yeah, I think if we can get these, that won't, it least to be a mess off the plate. And yeah, like we I said. I feel like we really accomplished something if we can get this mm -hmm. system working. I agree. I agree. <laughs> that is a lifetime project. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you won't know what to do without a Every six month meeting. Right. <laughs> Keeps the family together. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and if nothing else, uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Ed, second. Second. Very good. All right, quick meeting. Even shorter than the last one. Yeah.